Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From sports programs to summer camps, Rock has much to offer students in Visitation Valley. Kurt Yagi and Kareen Wong will share their services. Thanks for coming on the show. First, I have to ask, what does Rock stand for? It's an acronym. Acronym, Real Options for City Kids. We think it's a really cool and catchy acronym. It really is, and you're using Rock. It's kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. All right, so what does Rock provide? You know, so we serve a community in San Francisco called Visitation Valley. It's historically underserved. Our specialty, what we started with, is sports and outdoor adventures. Um, although over the years we've partnered with the local schools, we do after school programs. We're actually in the school during the day as well. Um, so it's just a whole host of positive programs for children of all ages. And you've served well over 500 participants and their families each year? Each year, probably a lot more than that. Um, I mean, we are all over Visitation Valley. And you're in their 21st year of service? 21st year. Amazing, congratulations. I know, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, you also have middle school programs. Talk yes. about that, Kareen. Um, so, in the middle school, we are located in Visitation Valley Middle School, and what we do there is we provide in school support, we provide after school programs, and we also have Saturday and summer programs as well for all of the youth. And what are some other programs? So in the after school program, we provide academic support and we do enrichment activities, um, everything from recreation to cooking. We have a teen center where they're focusing on art this year and we have a really great tech program as well. And you play games too. Yes, we do. We play lots of games. Um, we really like to just go in and do whatever we ask the kids to do, we like to do with them. And so we're really hands on and we really love to do all of the activities together. In middle school, I mean, that's a, those are tough ages, right? Definitely. In middle school, so you talk about other things as well, bullying, mm -hmm. self-image. Yeah, those are all issues that we try to address. Um, it's, of course, very difficult. Um, however, we work really closely with um, the school day staff and administration, and we seem to have a lot of our views aligned, which is great. And so we have a lot of support from the school as well. And um, we communicate with them regularly. We try to invite them to all of our events, and we're invited to their events as well. And so it's very, it's very much a community there. How about sports? Why is that so important for the kids to be exposed to? You know, it's. I think in, in the age we're at now, there's so much focus. So many people have their digital devices or video games or inside, and we're all about just staying active. And I think that's a missing part in a lot of uh, children's lives. And it's really important to, to stay healthy and active. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to play outside, right? I know. I, so I, <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I have fond memories. I grew up in the Bay Area in mm -hmm. the East Bay, and just uh, my parents would let my sister and I just roam around all day. Mm -hmm. We would just play outside, run around. We didn't have phones back then or any okay. other distractions. So it was just a great thing and you can't, you just don't see that as much these days. No, you don't. I used no. to ride my bike for hours and I then know. come home. Uh, what about parents? How did they get involved? Yeah, so our parents, I mean, we've been a staple in the community for 21 years. And so a lot of the families know who we are already. Um, we do a, a have a big focus on the parents of our participants. So, you know, we're running an elementary and the middle school site and so we'll do lots of um, assemblies we'll do workshop with parents um, just anything to engage them as much as we can you know we try to do with our young people yeah. if they don't have the support at home sometimes it sort of negates itself and so trying to develop the parents too is a is a big thing that we work on and Kareen you really are working directly with these students and with the parents what does it do for them to be in the program um, and what kind of change do you see yeah well I mean, I think that for one, the most important thing is that it gives the youth somewhere safe to be after school mm -hmm. um, because we are in a neighborhood that can, you know, be a little dangerous for them. And so we provide them with a safe space, but also with the academic support and with the enrichment activities, I believe that we provide a well rounded program where they can enjoy having fun with their friends and having time with that, but also provide the academic component which is also really important and is sometimes not a priority for a lot of the kids because of some of the things that you're dealing with and so I think that helps the youth which it's really all about and that in turn helps the family as well. Do you see a sense of confidence, a little more confidence? Um, or? Yes, it takes time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been there for a little while now, so I have seen that in a lot of the youth, um, a sense of confidence but also a sense of just like belonging and even if they won't admit it, they right. really love coming to program and just feeling like being a part of something is that much more important for them. And Kurt Rock is always looking for support. 
Always. So, I mean, obviously financial support is always a good thing, yeah. but we do have needs for volunteers. Um, it could be direct service volunteers. It could be helping with an event, um, just a host of things. We, you know, we have over 150 volunteers every year. We partner with corporations. We'll get one day volunteer opportunities for big companies. So we just need people to come our way. And real quickly, you took the kids on a five, or wait, an eight day backpacking trip in Yosemite. How fun is that? I've done that three <laughs> times so far. Every time That's I great. do it, I say, I'm never going to do this again. <laughs> but I know it's awesome. That was a few years back. That was Yosemite. Eight days, long time, just life changing for a lot of the young Wonderful. people. Wonderful. Wonderful so much. Well, thank you for coming on the show. And for more information on Rock, just log on to rocksf.org. Again, that's rocksf.org. And that's it for this week. We'll be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Have a great day.